Hey guys, what's good? Medieval Marty here with another video. So, Slay the Spire. This is undoubtedly one of the most strategic, addictive, but rewarding strategy card games out there right now, and I'm obsessed with it. I've currently got over 250 hours played on Steam with this. I've been playing it for a couple of years on and off, and I've probably got over 200 hours on my Switch as well. I can't stop playing it. I keep coming back to it, and I wanna help you guys with some basic beginner tips to smash this game. I will be following up this with some more advanced tips for people trying to push like the high ascensions, but right now I just want to get into some basic tips that everyone should be using to win their first games and to get more consistent wins per run. Now the first big tip is about deck size. Hey, deck size. Now a new player generally will look at three options from a reward and decide what card should I take. Now I want you to change that thinking to which of these cards fits my strategy and if the answer is none don't take a card now having lots of cards will make it harder to find the cards you need to pull off your strategy and if you have say 30 cards it's unlikely that all 30 of those cards are high quality and upgraded so there's less chance of you drawing a high quality card so if you have 15 cards or maybe a little bit less maybe 12 cards every card you get should be upgraded and every card should be perfectly put in there for your strategy so you can cycle through good cards consistently rather than going through a big deck once. Additionally, later in the game, you will get better quality cards and you'll get a lot of upgraded cards. So you could hold off to get some of the better cards fully upgraded later on. And don't fill your deck with cheap, bad cards that you don't need in the first act. Now, some strategies do do well with a large deck, but they're quite niche and they're not the majority. So tip two, theme your deck around a strategy. This doesn't have to be some pro guide that you've looked upon YouTube or some pro guide that you know someone's telling you to follow. This just means plan your deck around a certain quality. Maybe you're playing as the silent and you want to go poison. Try and get a full poison build that works on itself. Maybe you've got a build that does well with discarding cards. Maybe you've got a build that does well with bringing zero cost cards back into your deck. Find something and get more cards that benefit that key card or relic. And you don't have to have this strategy planned from the start. You could adapt mid game, but try to remove cards and add cards that build around a certain strategy. And again, these don't have to be super deep and super planned out. It could be something as simple as if you're playing as Ironclad, go for a strength build. If you're playing as the defect, go for an ice build or go for a lightning build. Honestly, as a beginner, they don't have to be super deep to win the game. They just need to work with the cards you've got. Don't have a mishmash of loads of different cards that don't benefit each other. Now, tip three, sounds simple, but plan your route. And when I say plan your route, there's a couple of things to think about. First off is elites. Relics are huge, relics can win you the game. Having loads of them makes you overpowered. So think about hitting up all the elites in one act. Try and find a route that gets you to every single elite or to as many elites as possible, and then work your plan around that. Generally, if you start out avoiding them, you're not gonna get strong enough to beat them in the next act. So try and suffer at the start, take risks, and get stronger for the next act. Next up, the shop. We've already discussed that you don't want to be taking cards you don't need, so you don't need to be going to the shop every act. You don't need to go into two shops in an act. You need to go to the shop when you've got lots of money and you can buy lots of relics. I personally try not to avoid, I try to avoid the shop unless I've got over 400 gold, and then you can go in there and buy a couple of good relics. Maybe you'll buy a card in there as well, but the chances of them having a card that fits your strategy, to me, feels quite low. So factor in, do you need to hit up the shop when you plan your route? And then finally, enemies are good for getting cards but think about going to the question mark zones. These can have extra elites in, so you can get an extra relic. They can also have um, random encounters that give you relics, and they can have certain rewards that can really turn the game around, and they can be really overpowered. So try and hit up these question marks. As you play the game longer, you'll see which areas have which uh, random encounters and which you should be trying to get. But for now, try and go to a lot of them and learn what they do, and you will get some really cool stuff. Next up, even though you're going for a certain strategy, maybe you're going for a strength build or an energy ball build, always try and have blocks and AOEs, so multiple attack, multiple enemy attacks. You're gonna face enemies that can deal 20 plus damage in the second act, and in the third act, 30 plus damage in one hit. If you've taken out all your blocks and you're going full attack, you're gonna get killed really, really quick. So try and have some big blocks ready, or maybe something that can get the enemy killed in one turn because you're 
you're gonna need to defend yourself. A caveat to that is if you have a healing build, so if you've taken the bites which heal you and you've got the um, you know the wrenches that heal after every attack, uh, every round, if you've got a full healing build, you can go down to like one health and then build back up by the next fight, great. But generally you need a lot of blocks. And then on the flip side of this, you're gonna need to be able to attack multiple enemies. Some of these fights, you're gonna get dropped in against three to four enemies straight out the bag and they're gonna be hitting you hard all in one turn. If you're there with single strikes, you're gonna have a bad time. Now guys, I could talk about this all day. I could give you 10 tips. They, they are my four key tips as a beginner that's gonna turn your game from constant losses to constant wins or more wins than you're used to. The, the, some of these are changing your mindset and planning in advance, which you, I definitely wasn't doing as a beginner. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully you've learned something. I'm gonna follow this up with an advanced tips guide designed on people that are pushing those high ascensions or people that are struggling to get through certain bosses. So stay tuned for that. If this video has been helpful and you wanna see more, please drop a subscribe. Or if you wanna come hang out on Twitch, I stream most evenings in the UK from 7 p.m. and I also stream at the weekend. Thanks so much guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.